Stephen Ross and the Miami Dolphins have been chasing after Tom Brady since late 2019 from what we learned in the Brian Flores lawsuit, after firing the former head coach in January Stephen Ross had his eyes set on bringing Brady to Miami. Mike Florio's initial report was taken in with a very big grain of salt due to Florio's track record of being wrong. Many people, including myself, dismissed it without much thought. However, Boston Globe journalist Ben Volin decided to reopen this can of worms and put a stamp of approval on it after going on WEMF Radio this past Monday. Florio report that Brady and Sean Payton were planning to team up in Miami. I know that's true because I heard it independently, and I know I heard it from a different source than Mike Florio heard it. Volin followed up by stating, So that to me is the key. So Brady announces his retirement on the morning of February 1, a Tuesday. What happens that same day? Brian Flores files his lawsuit against the Miami Dolphins, throws a wrench in the entire plan. Tom Brady wanted to go to Miami, but not necessarily to be the quarterback. Ben Volin stated on his appearance on MNF Radio that Tom Brady wanted to be Derek Jeter, meaning Brady would have come to Miami to help run the front office while Sean Payton helped run the team, said Volin. Well, we know that Payton declined the Dolphins' offer. But did the Brian Flores lawsuit hold weight in that decision? Ben Volin would lean towards yes. Miami has Mike McDaniel and he's proved to be great so far, but Volin reports that Stephen Ross's big plan was to bring in Tom Brady. Volin stated, You don't need permission from the Bucks to get Brady to run your front office. In hindsight, it's impressive how Stephen Ross was trying to make a big splash for his organization. Stephen Ross's big heist. Did the lawsuit itself spook away Tom Brady or was it something else? Perhaps, his involvement with the case? Volin said, Brady was gonna go run the Dolphins, and then Brian Flores files his lawsuit and throws a wrench in the entire thing. Now all of a sudden you're worried about cell phones and discovery and all this stuff, so Brady, they scrap those plans. Pause the tape right there Ben, cell phones and discovery, sounds like Stephen Ross and Tom Brady were in some pretty deep discussions involving tampering, amongst other violations in order to bring him to Miami. Why else would he try to get away from it? It's not all about the Dolphins' bad look with the Flores case, Brady must have had some dirt in there too. And if the plan is to bury Flores' case then it's best not to poke the bear. Spooked Brady right into retirement if we're following Ben Volin's narrative. Some people may find Ross's alleged actions, horrifying, and disgrace to the game. But you know what? I respect Stephen Ross for attempting this boss move. By any means necessary Ross was going to build a winner, and while firing Brian Flores he was crafting a master plan. This was all about him going to the Dolphins, it got scrapped because of the Brian Flores lawsuit, he had nothing else to do except play football, and he goes to the Bucks owner across the pond. Things make more sense now, and the NFL gets its biggest legend back in the game. A poetic ending to Tom Brady's storyline, and poetic justice for the Dolphins fanbase. But unfortunately, we might never see it come to life. Here's to hoping that Mike McDaniel can build a winner, and to once again think about what could have been if Brian Flores didn't file that lawsuit. But don't dwell on the past for too long, free agency is here and the two top tackles in the market are still available.